Hey everybody, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. You're watching The Buzz, and today we are talking about update 2020.32.3. Yes, we finally got it a couple days ago, and I'm just now getting around to doing this video for you, but nonetheless, there were some really, really cool features in this update, such as the power wall coordinator, the windows rolling up on door lock, notifications, and more, but there are a few things that I wanted to show you today that were not part of the release notes. Now, we all know and understand that when Tesla releases uh, new software updates, there are many things going on behind the scenes that we are not made aware of, and many of us refer to those as just bug fixes. But there are also many other enhancements that are made that maybe we just don't pay attention to, but are there. So I wanna show you two things that I discovered over the past couple days, as well as go over some of the cool features here released in 32.3. Let's go. All right, so one of the bigger updates, and it doesn't really impact me as I don't have a power wall, is just the power wall coordination as it relates to charging your vehicle in a power outage, which is very, very cool, I'm sure, for most of you or for some of you. But there were also a couple updates, like the windows closing on door lock, which I think is a huge, huge feature update. And I think there are many use cases for this. And basically, this is how it works. You walk away from your car, car locks, your windows are down, the car automatically rolls up your windows just like this. And another cool feature was a notification to let you know that you have left a door, your frunk, or your trunk open after an extended period of time, which, you know, we all can relate to. We pop open the trunk, we grab something out of it, maybe groceries, we go into the house, we get busy doing other things, and we forget that the trunk or door may be open. I've done that many times. So this is a cool feature that just sends you a notification saying, hey, dummy, you left your door or trunk open, so go get it closed. And then another cool feature here is notifications or history of notifications that you have received in the car. And it's always good to have historical data to be able to go back to and just peruse if you need to, or if there's something that came up that you just needed to go back and find. Uh, now you have the capabilities of doing that. And then of course, with this update, I'm sure there were many bug fixes to autopilot, traffic light and stop sign, and some other features that I'm sure uh, many other YouTubers will be out there testing. Um, but I will tell you prior to this update, autopilot has been pretty horrible. So forget all that. I want to show you two things that I've discovered with this update, one of which may have happened on a previous update, but I just noticed it uh, just the other day. But the two things I want to talk to you about is maps and home link. Yes, I know Homelink is a sore subject for many of you, but I am an early uh, Model 3 adopter. I am hitting my second year in another couple of weeks here of ownership, and Homelink was part of uh, my car when I purchased it. So there was a nuance with Homelink. As I'm backing out of my driveway, the Homelink button would come up to automatically close my door. It would visually block or give me a blind spot when I'm reversing that I couldn't see. I haven't heard about this um, in any other forum, but Tesla has obviously been looking at this because they made a change to make your car and making backing up much safer. Let's check it out. So you can see the new banner is actually transparent. So I can actually see through it now. And in just a moment, you're gonna see that skip button go away. And look at this, boom. Now I can actually see what's going on behind me and I don't have to no longer worry about hitting somebody that may be pulling in behind me. Yeah, a very, very cool sort of safety feature that Tesla updated and it wasn't in the release notes. And the other cool thing that I noticed is maps. So my brother-in-law and I were having a debate about a city in Italy. So what he did is he went right to the map well, here, let me just show you. So what he did is he went right to the map, typed in Italy, and boom, the Italy map came up and we were able to sort of complete our debate on what we were arguing about. Um, and it's just really, really cool. I did not know that I can type in a destination or location that's outside of the United States and it would actually bring up the map. So we were sort of able to 
complete our debate just by doing this. I didn't have to go to my browser, uh, type in a map of Italy. It brought it right up here on the map. It's pretty cool to see the capabilities of the Tesla map and not having to go to the browser to be able to do that. And there was another debate that we had too, and that was Israel. Oh, if I could spell. And boom, it also popped up and uh, we were able to finish our debate on that one as well. So in case you didn't know, you don't have to go to your browser. You can type in any location within the navigation button here and it will bring up the map um, for that location. So pretty cool. There you are, folks. That is 2020.32.3 in a nutshell. But the point of the video is Tesla releases nuances to every single update and some of them we can see and some of them we can't. So. Pay attention next time that you get an update just to take a look around the screen to see if anything has changed and or improved because Tesla is not going to list every single change within the release notes. It's just the major changes that they list, obviously. So if you have seen something that has changed in one of your updates, please feel free to leave a comment down below. So there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.